Hi, before starting the video, my suggestion would be watch this video in 2x speed. Any of my videos on YouTube, watch them at 2x speed because I'm generally slow while talking. Okay, that will save your time. Fine. Now coming to revision, how do you revise a subject? For the past 15 years, I have been in this industry and I have seen a lot of toppers like Hari, Jay Bansal, all these toppers. Everyone have used something called as short notes. So this short notes is very powerful for revision. I will tell you a reason why it is powerful. If you now open a long notes and if you go through the long notes and revise it, it will take half an hour for 10 pages. And if you look at a subject like TOC, it will take as much as 15 hours to revise it. And if you have to revise 11 subjects every week, it is going to take hell a lot of time. First time when you revise a subject, it will take around 10 to 15 hours to revise one subject. And you know, every week you have to touch every subject. There are 11 subjects, seven days, which means on some days you have to do revision of two subjects also. We are in November. So revision is very important. November, December, January, three months you have to revise every day every week 11 subjects should be revised in seven days every week and moreover you have syllabus pending you have to complete the syllabus see one more thing let me tell you this if you ask me what is the most important thing to get a good rank in gate it is syllabus completion rest all revision test series practice questions they are all secondary First thing is you need to complete the syllabus. Most people I have seen generally who fall in around 500 to 1000 rank, they tell me that they have left one or two subjects. Most people leave out CO and compiler design. Don't do that because even though the subject looks difficult, there will be simple uh, questions from the subject. See, in gate exam, if you have to get a very good rank, Okay, what you should do is the most important thing is you should not miss out any simple questions. See, I can tell you one thing. A simple what, what I mean is if there is a simple question which everyone will be able to answer it. If there is a simple question. Now that question will put you in three levels. Either it will put you here or it will put you here or it will put you here. If you answer it correctly, you are going to get positive marks. If you leave out, you are going to get zero. And if you answer it wrong, you are going to get negative marks. So one question will put you in three stages. Now, if it is a simple question, everyone else will be able to answer it. Now, if you have to compensate it, you should be able to answer the difficult questions. So if you leave out a subject, there is a chance that you are leaving out simple questions from that subject. It is not that you will get all the difficult questions from difficult subjects. You will get simple questions also. You should not leave out them. Okay, coming back to revision. First, you, you have to do syllabus completion and revision in parallel from now on. Now we are in November, right? So you have to do completion in parallel along with revision. Every week, 11 subjects for sure you have to revise. But each subject is going to take 10 hours of time to revise. Even if you go through everything in the notes, it is going to take 10 hours, right? So what I will suggest you is just do first revision now. And when you are doing the first revision, you make a short notes. In case if you don't have time to make a short notes, at least underline with a red pen in your notes that will act as a short notes. Okay. But my suggestion would be write down a separate short notes. And second thing is I cannot provide you the short notes because I don't know which are the concepts which you are not good at. While re revising the subject, you will understand that you have completely forgotten something which means there is a tendency that you will forget it again even after revising. So you write down such topics which you only know. So short notes cannot be delegated. You have to do it on your own. Okay. Now coming to short notes, if you look at any subject, let us say this is the uh, notes of Jay Bansal. This is a long notes. Now in this long notes, most of the things you already know, 
you don't have to revise them read them again and again you are not going to learn anything new for example introduction to os you can skip it completely right and then coming to process management this is important this kind of question can come in gate what are the attributes of a process now only write these points only write these points 1 to 8 that's it don't write and don't write explanation about these points there is no need once you look at it you know that right so you don't have to write explanation and then use diagrams whenever there are there is a diagram you write it down for example states of a process you don't write all this theory you know them right what you should know is this diagram so write this now if you observe it for the first four pages we have covered only half page right so like that you keep on writing and also don't write problems write formulas for example if you have see this this is a formula waiting time equal to turnaround time minus burst time just write that line nothing else that will help you remember everything like this you write the short notes so what is step one you have a long notes now you are preparing the short notes now while preparing the short notes you should know what to write whatever you you feel like you are forgetting again and again you write it in the short notes so that you can revise them right so first time when you are revising the long notes make a short notes it will take 10 hours minimum 10 hours to write the short notes for every subject so 11 subjects into 10 hours is 110 hours so it is not easy thing you have to dedicate one entire week for making short notes but once you have short notes the things will become very easy now what you should do is every two weeks this is what hari has done uh, hari is ar1 uh, uh, ar6 hari is ar6 he told me this method that he followed so what he has done is for two weeks he revised short notes which means let us say this is first week of november first week of november second week of november only short notes he revised and third week he revised the long notes which means once the short notes is ready don't throw away the long notes thinking that it is useless it is useful okay so even long notes has to be there short notes has to be there now in the short notes you are going to revise for two weeks only on short notes and in the third week you are going to revise long notes so we are reducing the time and in the two weeks when you are revising the short notes you should focus on completion of the syllabus and in the third week when you are revising the long notes it will take the entire week you will not have time to complete the syllabus so those two weeks of short notes is very important so week one short notes week two short notes so what i'm saying is week one week two week three week four week five something like this short notes short notes long notes short notes short notes long notes so long notes so this is how you should entirely revise this entire three months got it so that is all about revision thank you